Okay, guys, today we're going to look at lab 25. Lab 25 is capacitor charge discharge. We're examining a fundamental foundation circuit in electronics, uh, the RC circuit or series resistor uh, with capacitor. We're going to look at it over an AC um, voltage signal. Um, this circuit is used in both AC and DC applications. Uh, today, the AC function generator is going to allow us to evaluate the changes in the waveform um, so we can see how the time constant is applied uh, in this circuit. So to start out with, you're going to need your function generator, uh, oscilloscope, 10K ohm resistor, and a 0.1 microfarad uh, capacitor. Pull up Tinkercad. Use your component library to uh, locate all the components you need um, and pull them out on the screen. Set your uh, function generator for these values um, for these values right here. You're using a 100 hertz in step three, a 100 hertz signal. So change this to 100. Um, over a 500 millivolt peak to peak square wave. So um, the base unit here is volts. So 500 millivolts would be 0.5 volts. Uh, that's 500 millivolts. So you set your amplitude to uh, 0.5. Um, and it says adjust your DC offset so that the uh, negative peak is at zero volts. We're going to have our DC offset at zero um, right here. And the function is a square wave. So that's your function generator, 100 hertz, 500 millivolts, a zero uh, DC offset, and a square wave. That's your setup for that. Um, your oscilloscope, um, we're going to set so that we're looking at a, uh, a division setting of one millisecond. And uh, I'll explain why I have one millisecond for right now. And then uh, we're going to make some adjustments on that um, in a minute. So remember, what we're changing is our time setting along the bottom of our oscilloscope. We're saying that one of these squares is equal to one millisecond. Make sure you set your uh, resistor. Your resistor is going to be 10K ohms. And uh, set your capacitor. Use a ceramic disk capacitor. Um, although you'll get a similar result with the electrolytic, they are used in DC circuits. So um, we're going to use our, our primarily in DC circuits. So set your capacitance to 0.1 and make sure you have this as, as microfarad. Um, hook these up in series. I have my uh, red and black wires here showing the positive and negative side. That is important when you look at the schematic. Make sure the positive side is to the resistor. The negative side is to the capacitor. Same thing when you hook your oscilloscopes up to the points. Um, make sure you have your ground clip of your oscilloscope on the negative side of the capacitor. We're examining the signal, in this case, over the, the capacitor itself. So have your oscilloscope set up there. Um, and go ahead and let's start the simulation and see what we get on our, our waveform. So I have this kind of a, a shark's tooth looking wave. Remember, I chose one millisecond to the division. And the reason I chose that uh, is because that would allow me to look at one period of my 100 hertz waveform. Um, remember, you can find period by taking the inverse of the frequency. So one one hundredth um, of a second is the amount of time it takes this 100 hertz uh, waveform um, to go there. One one hundredth of a second, well, if I have 10 milliseconds um, across this, this whole thing, my one one hundredth of a second is my 10 milliseconds um, in, in time period. So here's that waveform, and it kind of looks like a shark's tooth. What we're seeing is a complete charge, and um, we, we see the um, discharge, and, and actually it is broken up here. Um, as we're looking at that, I suppose I could change my offset setting to, to fix that. But you see your discharge is your signal right there. So here's our complete charge, and here's our discharge. 